let me show you how to make not one, but two mason jar tumblers tonight. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy. If you didn't know, and if you did, thanks for coming back. All right, so I have this graphic I made. It says, fall is my jam. I printed it on printable vinyl. I have these jars from Dollar Tree. We're gonna wipe it down with just rubbing alcohol, let it dry, and then we're just gonna stick our printout that we cut out on the jar. I have a little nutrition label on the back, print, stick it on the back. Now I did put a little heat to it just because it helps the vinyl stick better, but that's the first jar. That's it. How easy is that, right? But okay, listen, if you want to be a little extra and you know, I do, I'm going to show you how I do my glitter jars. So first thing I do is wash the jar just like we did the other, but I'm going to use some um, electrical tape to tape off the, the um, thread. And then we're going to use some glitter glue from Crystalac cover the entire jar with the glitter glue and then i'm using some beautiful orange extra fine glitter from michael's and we're just going to cover the entirety of the jar cover it cover it cover i am putting this i have a piece of parchment paper on the bottom you'll see that um i fold it in half because it makes a nice little funnel to put your glitter away now you're going to let it set for two hours, okay? Once it's set for two hours, then brush off the excess glitter, put more glitter glue on, then more glitter, tap off the excess, let it sit for two hours. Once it's set for two hours, we're gonna do the same process. We're gonna get our light brush just to get the excess off. Then we're gonna do a sealing layer of the glitter glue again, and then we remove that um, electrical tape. If you need to, you can clean it up like I did with an X-Acto knife. But then we're going to put let it dry and then we're going to put more electrical tape on i know it sounds crazy but trust me now we're going to use grand finale this is the stuff listen if you love the look of an epoxy tumbler who doesn't it's so you know like super glass like it's beautiful well i have allergies i can't use epoxy this i'm telling you right now is awesome it's many many layers so you do a layer super thin let it dry for two hours. Do another layer. I did three layers. Let it dry. Then I do a little sanding, very light. Then I do, you know, wipe it off, obviously. And then we're going to do another layer of the Crystal Lac. Actually, I think I did another two layers of the Crystal Lac. Let it dry in between, two hours in between, right? Then look at how pretty. Now we're going to put our printout on this one. Same thing I did with the other one. It's just printable vinyl, print my graphic. I have it in my Etsy store. Then we're going to do two more layers of of the um, Crystal Light Grand Finale. And it is like, it looks like epoxy. It's awesome. Is it washable? Yes. Can you put it in a dishwasher? No. <laughs> Once it's fully dry, after that two hours of that final layer, you're going to remove carefully remove your um, electrical tape and then look look at oh my gosh now this is the first one we did super pretty too right but look at this one oh it's so glittery i love it so much anyways friends either one you can't go wrong either one you pick either one and you're gonna have a great cup to drink out of i'm just saying anyways friends thanks so much for watching and i hope this inspires you mm -hmm.